Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for June the 30th of 2020 well, it is titled Bright Planetary Nebula, NGC 7027 from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula, which is something that happens at the end of the life of a star, much like our own sun. And what happens is the star builds up a core of uh, heavier elements, uh, starting with helium, hydrogen fuses into helium, then helium into carbon and oxygen and neon. And as that process continues, the core will collapse down and crush, uh, crush itself under its own weight until it is compacted to about the size of the Earth, forming what we call a white dwarf star. Now this is a, and then at that time, now the outer layers will be expelled out into space. Now what we're seeing here is one of the very early stages of a planetary nebula. This is only, uh, based on measurements, about 600 years old. So the planetary nebula phase is a relatively short-lived one, lasting maybe thousands of years anyway. But this is a very early stage of one. So we can see the outer layers, the bluer areas, where we see a material that has been pushed off from the star. And we can see inner layers where more things are still going on, gas and dust uh, still being ejected from the star. Now, the process for a planetary nebula is still something that is not completely understood as to how this works. When we look at the planetary nebulae that exist, we see a wide variety of different types. And it may depend on the exact structure. So one of the thoughts here is that maybe models show that this could be caused by a binary system at the center. So perhaps there are two stars there, one of which is beginning the planetary nebula phase. And then the interaction of that with the other star is then causing the patterns that we see here. Often we might think that if it was just one star, it would just push out material and would look relatively symmetrical. We do see some planetary nebulae like that, such as the Ring Nebula. So, but we also see more that are quite complex, like this one. So it may have to do with the actual workings of the star or stars that are down deep within this nebula. And over time, this will continue to expand. The outer layers will continue to expand outward into space, eventually becoming seed material for new stars. And could we come back in tens of thousands of years, we would see the white dwarf star left at the center. And maybe that will give us a better idea of what actually happened here as we begin to continue to, we continue to study how the planetary nebulae work. And again, like most things in astronomy, one of the difficulties is that we can't sit there and watch one. This has been a 600-year process since it started, and it has thousands of years to go. So it is not something that one individual astronomer or groups of astronomers can study. This has been going on for centuries and will continue for a long time into the future. So we have to require uh, making models and trying to understand what could explain this. But in terms of timing, it just takes too long for many astronomical events to be able to be observed in a human lifetime. So that was our picture of the day for June the 30th of 2020. It was titled Bright Planetary Nebula, NGC 7027 from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.